Time to talk some shit. The J2 Podcast. Here we go. We know. Very fancy. So go more back to like you getting it. You're faking him out with the, the grind strike just to open up the face. Mm-hmm. That's some high level shit, I'm not gonna lie. It's not what I was expecting you to say. Right, so I think what we are doing is um, making you aware of what your, like I said, your attacker isn't expecting, mm. right? And what they, just any human being, if you go towards their eyes, they're most likely going to have a reaction. Right. Um, everybody's neck is soft. Um, everybody's skin being grabbed sucks. Everybody's, um, like, using your knuckles on parts of people's body, like, even their ribs, their face. Like, these, there's just, like, ways to create to discomfort, right? I do this right in that rib cage. When I oh. Oh. oh, oh, it's the worst. Right. It's like a noogie to the but ribs. It's so also bad. unexpected, right? You don't expect yeah. somebody to, like, create discomfort mm. here. Hmm. So it's about just, um, like I said, just, obviously, you can punch somebody if you can punch them, but what if you can't? And also, you got to think realistically, and, and this is nothing to, not to discredit your strength or anything like that, but if a guy my size really, you know, was in a mode where, like, hey, I'm feeling to attack you, you know, you're, you're a smaller person than me, a punch might not be as damaging as actually getting to my eyes or getting to oh, my Oh, definitely throat. wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So here's where it gets really real. Um, I was attacked by a guy who was 6'3", 250. Wow. I and for am... the sake of people that are listening... If you don't have a visual right now, Sada is not six two three. <laughs> I no. am five six one fifteen. Right, so close to my weight. Perfect, right? <laughs> and you know, this guy's like hmm, twice my size, maybe. When you say it attacked, this, if you, as long as you don't mind me asking questions about, yeah, this. No, do you, do you mind ex- telling it's us what happened over, exactly? Yeah, I put it all over the yeah, internet in the past because I feel like this stuff. I don't have no shame talking about it. I feel like. I know who deserves the shame and who deserves... Um, we usually like to victim shame here, but we'll make an exception today, so... <laughs> Great! I appreciate it. I <laughs> we, came on the right We shame day. everyone. We shame right everyone. Um, I was in my car, um, parked outside of my house, and some guy just snuck up behind my car, and... I actually, he came from this side, which there was like so many little details that saved me. For example, had he came from the other side, Mm. I wouldn't necessarily, might not have seen him. Um, But because he came from this side, I just saw like something in my mirror. And I looked over my shoulder. And when I looked back on my other shoulder, he was ripping my car door open and like slamming me down on the ground. And that was it. Like I went from, I think I see something to I'm fighting for my life because i don't know what this person who this person is i don't know what they want um they are now in my car i am around no one it's and you were in your car also or i was in my car he came in the car so he opened the door and like threw me down my head ended up under the glove compartment oh my god so he was was he trying to like take the car with you in it or was he just trying to get a hold of you lord knows i've he had a car he had i saw him I saw him at the gas station, and I, I think he followed me from the gas station. Um, Jesus, creep, huh? Creep, nah, so like, he I'm did a creep. have a You're car. A creep. This dude is a fucking psycho. Yeah, psycho that's not a creep. Yeah, a little bit. So um, I was put in a very real situation with a big person. Um, and what I will say to that is it takes less than you think to get out of the situation. Um, even when I was out, I didn't really believe that I was out. Like, I didn't believe mm. that, um, I had, like, I, I looked at this man in his eyes, right? So at some point I accepted that I was on the bottom of my car underneath this very big man. That's Jesus pretty Christ. clear scenario, right? Yeah. That's... Um, that I was able to, I think... I know, look, shit. <laughs> yo, I asked him because it was warm earlier, so I'm like, yo, can you throw that up? Well, we're like fucking polar bears. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. But <laughs> immediately, bro, I'm freezing my bad. Yeah, I keep it, asking him to do shit that is not his uh, normal gig. Do you want some of that, by the way? I don't know if you saw that, too, Mike. No, thank you, sir. Careful, though. I mean, I don't know what your tolerance is like, but I take a little, and then I'm kind of up in Mars. You might have to just hold a button for a few seconds. To let it like, what does it have to do? Yeah, yeah, it, needs it to has melt. to melt the meth. 
So. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so back to this. At one, you were actually under this dude in your car, so like, he was. It yeah. was like safe to say, like, damn, I'm helpless. It would it would have been understandable to think that way. I accepted that. I mean, it was just like, what, what, what are you gonna do, girl? You know, I knew I was gonna continue fighting until I don't know. He knocked me out, maybe best case scenario. So is is he like? Is he hitting you? Is he punching you? Is he just kind of holding you down? What is he? What is he doing in this moment? Um. It wasn't, it was all of the above because I was so, um, like, defensive. But also, I think, I don't think he expected me, first of all, to fight back the way I did. But also, I looked over as soon as he ripped the car door open. Like, like we fought for the car door. Obviously, I didn't win that fight. But um, I feel like my seeing him before he was actually able to, like, have contact with me changed the game and he I don't think he expected that right like because he was sneaking up on me and had I not seen him in the mirror there's potential that he could have just yanked the car door open and I would have had much less of an opportunity to fight him where if he would have been grabbing me for more of a behind position whereas I was like face to face with him mm. and it was uh, more of a confrontation than I think he had expected so it was like him pushing and me pushing and I don't know it a lot of him hold like you know at some point like he was holding me down but also i was like holding him back with my feet so we were in this like like a butterfly guard almost um i just had my feet straight i just had my feet <laughs> straight like i just had my feet straight like, like my head was like i just remember thinking like my head it was on the floor of the car and i was like you are on the bottom of your car girl like yeah this is rough you know i'm like so, holy shit and this guy wants lord knows what so that was that's what fucking wild. So man. did he just did he at, at one point did he just say hey she's not gonna stop fighting and he kind of just backed off and took off? I think so. And then you know hindsight obviously is twenty twenty and I just know right. So I did have my feet in his chest. Um, I had one hand like on his neck, keeping distance between him and I because I'm already at the bottom of the car right. And he was trying to cover my mouth, so I'm just like ripping his hand off of my mouth. And um, at that moment, had he took taking like another charge or strong attack at me i would have just kicked him in the face right like my feet were right here okay. definitely would have right. kicked him in the face um and the attacker always is going to have more clarity than the victim because you're almost in like panic yeah, you know, right. not, not they expecting planned it. It. i definitely didn't this. expect it and he planned it so um I think if I'm the never attacker been this close to this kind of situation <laughs> i feel like i've talked about it a lot but never actually heard you know, like a victim explain how... Because this was recent, you said, right? In December, it happened. Yeah, so you're giving us a pretty vivid look at what this is like. But sorry, continue. No, it's cool. Hand on throat. Could have kicked him. I just think, right, if I'm the attacker, that at this point, it's aware that I'm not going to stop fighting. Yeah, you probably thought you were an easy target. and I mean, I'm a small girl, right? Mm. So, um, and, you know, I do work out and own a fitness studio for a living. So I think when you see a small girl, you don't think strong. Yeah. And the strongest thing on me is definitely my legs. It's the strongest thing on anybody. So I, I was holding him back with a good amount of force, which probably is, like, shocking. You're like, what the hell is this girl yeah. holding me back? Um. But more than anything, like, I would have I would have kicked him in the face. So at that point, right, like I said, the attacker having clarity, I feel like if he would have kidnapped me, if he would have raped me, if he would have bur- murdered me, whatever, there would have been any of those things would have created a big investigation. And he did follow me from the gas station. So, like, naturally the cops are going to show up at his door knocking. And if he opens the door and he's got a busted lip or a black eye because I was mm. kicking him in the face, how is he going to explain that? So I feel like being the attacker at that moment, knowing, like, this bitch is going to kick me in the face, he just figured, like, okay, this isn't something I can get away with. Like, he had that clarity in the moment. I feel like he just looked at me and was like, and he just actually grabbed my phone and ran out the car. He took your phone? He did. Damn. That is scary. That's that's a weird feeling, right? Like, we've actually had a lot of talks about... Um, like sexual harassment and assault and you know this didn't seem like it got sexual but i assume that's always his motivation at that point you know like what is what is he what else is there you know for like, sure those are nice gold hoop earrings but not enough to make you want to kill somebody for no and i mean it was like very violent i just remember um 
I did ask like several times, like, what the fuck did I do to you? Because he was like mm. so angry. As if like I I was like I literally was thinking in my head, I work at a club. I'm like, was I mean to you at the club? Mm. Like like what do I owe you something? Like, did I turn mm. you down? I don't understand. He was so it felt personal. A, oh yeah, yeah. It did. But I definitely have never seen this man before. However, um, I did learn that he knows a lot of people that do know me. So that I don't know him doesn't mean that he doesn't know me. So, so you know who he is now? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because I chased him. Okay. I'll keep going. This is Yo, a great story. Yeah. Chased you chased him? Um, On foot or in the car? In the car. Lit. Okay, so he runs out the car. And in my mind, Not I'm thinking speak. he's coming to the other side of the car just so that I can't use my feet. But he runs off, and I just lock the doors, and <laughs> I just... Continue, Mike's having to... No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Look, look, lift it up like this. It bends up, it's easier. But make sure you look, you got yours looking like it's going to fall off there. But go ahead, so he, he ran back to his car? He ran back to his oh. car, and I just sat in the car, just like, closed the doors and locked them, and just like... This is like what the fuck, right? Like the what the fuck just happened, and I'm and I just remember like going through. I'm like, do I cry now? Um, do I get help? Uh, do I leave? And I was like, run him over. <laughs> I was like that right. one to that one. Anger, you know, this guy had just. Um, I don't think anybody blames you with that. Op- really, op- right? He had really, really, really taken advantage of me. He was so violent, and inside of my car i just felt so violated um the most prominent with anger i'm a puerto rican woman so i was like uh, fear um disbelief surprise anger and i was like anger that's the one Go um on. and i did i it took i have like video of him following me and me following him back right, and well, Mike's, Mike's, Mike. Mike, we are having issues. Oh, it's way out, though. Yeah, it's yeah. way out. Hey, that's why I said flip it. Flip it, like, up top. No. Like this. You, you mess with this thing. Yeah, flip it like this. There you go. Santa knows what's up. That's my bad for ordering Amazon brand wires. <laughs> yeah, let's get you set up. Do you know how that works? Like, the vice on the bottom? Yeah. Just try to push okay. it in all the way. Yeah, I'll hold the table. Good. I guess. Trust me, you want to come on again in the near future because we're switching the stands to these like stands that just sit up here, and um, it's like a weight, so it won't move if you bump it or anything. We're gonna go with those. Nice. But upgrading. Yeah, well, cool. We try, man. The, it's really hard because like you see a lot of cool shit, costs a lot of money. I got great ideas, not a shit ton of money to invest in this yet. But so I want, I want to, I, I need a resolution here. You chased him. He jumped in his car. You chased him. Uh-huh. When did it end? Um. Uh- So, by, like, this is how crazy (laughs) the story gets. Um, There was 38 seconds in between the time his car drove off and my car is seen coming after him. Oh, so you really took some time to fucking Like, I was in the car, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And, you know, 38 seconds, not that long, but also... That's a long-ass time to drive away from somebody. Right, in that time... And you also don't have your phone, right? So you can't call the cops. No, which I didn't know at the time I didn't have my phone. I just thought, like, it might have fallen yeah. in the scuffle. The cops found my phone, like, a couple streets away. So that's clear to me that he grabbed it and threw it. Okay. Um. So the crazy, the story gets crazier because as he pulls out, there's a cop at the light. Really? Okay. Outside of my house. So he can't speed off or do what he would probably normally do. He would have normally took off cra- like crazy, dri- driving crazy, Which is but he couldn't. why I come out 38 seconds later and there is no cars on the road but a car facing my direction. That's obviously not him. Mm-hmm. And the car that I just saw him in at the light. And like to me, I was like there's no way that that's him. Like, yeah, I know be, it's he a should time. Be long He's gone. Right. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to like come out the parking lot and speed to go find this guy and he's at the light i'm like there's no fucking way so and i also didn't realize it was a cop car i just saw a car and then his car so i like so as not to cause an accident i still went the loop around that you're supposed to do legally outside of my house and i come behind him in the light and i'm like 
all my freaking energy is going crazy and the light changes and he starts driving and it's a cop and at that moment i realized it's a cop on the other side of the street so now i'm honking and i'm waving and trying to get the cop's attention trying to get the cop's attention i was at like where like the walgreens on elmwood avenue not too familiar, but yeah, I know, I know what you know what it is? Yeah. Like Walgreens and Reservoir Splits, you know, and I followed him all the way down to downtown, the bridge to get to downtown before the cops pulled him over. That's oh, but they got way. him that night, though. Oh, like I followed him and flagged down three different cops until they pulled him over. Like I was, I don't think people understand like the whole time. I'm like, this guy's going to turn down a dark street. He's going to put me in danger again. Like, what yeah. the fuck am I going to do if he turns down a dark street and gets out of his car? Right, like, right, right. I, what if he comes out the car with a, with a gun? Like, I was literally, he had a pickup truck. I'm like, what if he just reverses his car into my car and then drives right. off? Like, the whole time, I am chasing this man and realizing that this is, like, scary, but also, like... Necessary. Right. Yeah. Also, just yeah. knowing, like... I'll be damned if I go down any other way. I was just so angry. It wasn't anything else. It wasn't bravery. It was anger. It was purely yeah. anger. Well, it's almost like taking control. Like I'm not. You're not about to let let this guy get away. Wait. With, so with then you happened. just walk off okay. and you just go back to your life and you can come back here tomorrow if you feel like it. Yeah, no. Are you kidding me? You know what's crazy about it is it goes from him sneaking up on her. Assaulting her, grabbing her, beating her. <laughs> to f- f- a minute later, he's running from you, scared She's of you, hunting him, bro. <laughs> You're I like, like hunting that. him down, chasing him That's through real Providence. Real shit, right there. <laughs> and the story ends with he did get arrested that night. Um, unfortunately, Good. he was only charged with simple assault. Simple assault. Because uh, that's what oh he did. Oh my god. That's according to them what he did. Let me ask: Did you get the? Did you get it like a good lawyer or no? Um, I feel like a good lawyer. Like we got to get. Well, I've watched a lot of S V U. That guy's got to. That guy's got to plead to attempted rape one, sexual assault three. He needs to be doing like 10 to life. This is the thing. The city has a case against him, right? And then like I can have a civil case against him. So like Mm. I can sue him for money. That's always a good option. But the city charged him with simple assault because he was arrested. There was a police report rape. It doesn't seem too simple to me. (laughs) No, fuck no. I feel like how do you... That that has to be like attempted rape simple or attempted kidnapping, like attempted murder. Like, bar and punch them thank you. Not like simple thank assault. you. Right now. Not thank, you know? yeah. Which is the conversation I've had with probably every someone in every theft. Ray stole legal your phone. Office. I'd be like, yeah, no shit. I stole it. Stole your phone too. B and E broke into my car. Like, it, there's a lot of shit. I, I feel like you could I, rack up there. I thought of so much, but you know, I spoke to a lot of people who were very compassionate. Everybody mm. in all of the legal offices that I went to were extremely compassionate. It, um, and very kind but you know the law is not necessarily designed to create justice for the victim it's designed to create punishment for the criminal well, that's true right so it's not necessarily what always were you thinking about doing or what did you want to, it was what did you actually do exactly what crime did you actually commit so what they can prove right um hmm. And they don't like to lose cases, so they're just... Yeah, that's what I noticed to be the the big factor in what cases they take on or what charges they try to push is to to the attorneys, like the DA and the attorney general and shit. It's almost like they're keeping stats, you know, and Mm -hmm. their record of stats, how many cases they win is how they negotiate their next contract. So it's not whether it's morally right or wrong, it's whether or not they can fucking juice that stat line up, which is You know, it's almost like because she fought back so hard... Oh, he, he gets, gets off easier. He gets yeah. lesser crime. So yeah. if I would you know, have suffered if, if a little yeah, bit more, kind of like went in survival mode and just all right, all right, you know, do whatever you got to do. You know, take my take my car, take my phone, and he would have got charged. With if more, I would have let him grab a titty, right. then it would have been a sexual right. predator. Yeah. I'm like, this is crazy yeah, that see? I paid. Yeah, you fucked up there, to you know? take self defense classes means he gets less trouble, which is also a problem. I well, agree. That, that is a problem in. In, in general, like for instance, <laughs> what? listen, me, not, me, not listen, letting you grab a no, I'm telling you, no, just just the law in general. Me and you, that's the problem with this country. Listen, me and you, the same <laughs> night, we go to the same bar, we drink the same amount, we both rear end somebody. You know, they go to the hospital. One guy gets a great surgeon, and one guy gets a shit surgeon and dies. I get, I get charged with murder. You know what I mean? Uh, driving driving drunk, murdering somebody. Oh, you have a surgeon that saves the guy's life, and next thing you know, you know, you get a far lesser crime than I do. We did the exact same thing. We both drove drunk. We both ran into somebody, but you luckily you had a great surgeon at the hospital saved his life. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I'm in jail. You're not. You know what I mean? That's it's, reckless. I never looked at it. Like isn't that, that crazy? I That's mean, fucking it, wild. We both did the same thing. 
the same crime. But hey, don't drive drunk, right? <laughs> Definitely. Where all the story is. Also, don't like attack women getting into their car. That's that's yeah. weird. But so, that's a crazy story. I mean, do you, now do you have any kind of like um, effects after that? Like I, when, at night when you go out, yeah. Oh, I guess PTSD when you go out at night. I mean, you're looking over your shoulder every every second. You know what I mean? Are you are you worried all the time about something happening again? Bro, look look at the guys in this room with her. She's got a cop car stationed outside <laughs> right now. She's like, there's about six hundred pounds of dude in this room, so just stay here for me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, We're not those guys. I feel nope. I feel I I feel. In regards to my ability, I'm more confident, right? Because like you've been taking day, those classes, too. Well, and I I was taking jujitsu for years before, in my early 20s. And mm. I'm 29 now, so I am taking them again now. But I do feel like, which is why I brought them back, because I do feel like that defending myself, for example, wasn't... It was kind of second nature, It was right? like your I instinct. Years, Just your will to, to fight. And I did spend years practicing... Mm. A lot of things like defense, like maneuvering and things like that. So in that moment, um, I wasn't thinking at all about what to do physically. I was actually the entire time very present mentally and assessing the situation. Right. So I feel like that I wasn't so scared about what was happening. My body was just doing what it was doing. I was able to like stay very present and reactive at the right time and make the right choices. So I'm grateful for the self-defense. Um, definitely a lot of trauma came from that situation. And I feel like it's so important to say that because I went online like two days later and released um, the story. And uh, it got like, tens of thousands of views on all of the social media platforms. Um, so it really went viral. I feel like it's inappropriate to make a joke right now, but I... Do it. That's what I should be doing with this podcast, because we don't get that many views. <laughs> no. So if one of you guys is feeling a little assaulty today... Yeah, can you go comment on that post and tell them that you're on the J-Squared podcast? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Has everybody watched it? By the way, guys... Um, I so feel like this, it's is also... This, is this case still in court now? Has this happened recently? Is, is he still dealing with uh, court stuff or is it over the prosecutor told me that they are requesting and expecting him to plea out to six months probation Jesus yeah what and that will be the end of that however when I did that's release so stupid the, the story on because I you know I, I knew who the guy was and then come to find out this guy like owned businesses well you been you, on, you said you didn't know him you mean you found out who he was yeah i found okay, out okay. because you know i got the police report the next day yeah, you fucking so put the so put the detective glasses on like oh, gonna, I'm, I'm a woman honey you well, know the what second I mean? you decided to chase him like i figured it, it's not going to be over anytime soon yeah no so uh i figured out who he was like this guy's been on the news um, like to promote his businesses and like he's a stand up citizen. This oh guy. wow, he's oh, a public he's, figure. He's, he's well he's, off and he probably has a good lawyer. Oh honey, he is a he is a he just had uh, this happened in December. He had twin boys in November with his girlfriend. Like this, he's like a new dad owns wow. business. I feel like we're narrowing it down on who it is. I mean, I, I can say it. <laughs> I have legal, you no, know, wow. I, Jesus. I can say it. It's like, bro, Jay, congrats on the baby, but damn, you're a schmuck. <laughs> I feel like the over, like you said, it gave you a lot of trauma, but I have to assume that I've never been in a position where I had to like physically fight one person for my life. But getting out of that alive has to give you a really good sense of like accomplishment, pride, empowerment. Like, you know, a lot of people just cower right there and give in. And, you know, like you were able to get out of that shit. I don't even know. I can't imagine like you're 100 pounds or 115 pounds. This guy was what? 260, 250. 250. Imagine a man like twice your size, just like asserting that kind of dominance over you. That's got to be a fucking. I, I can't even I, imagine. I don't think I can fight him off. No. Well, first of all, people like twice my size pounds. can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> like, What's somebody gonna like airlift him? Six hundred pound maybe? guy, twelve feet right. tall. You know the person that has to bathe in a little blow up bathtub like that person gonna come fuck me uh, out. But no, in all seriousness, like all I can cons- like compare that to is if like a. A lion or something was attacking me, and my only shot was to fight for my life. You know, like I don't know how I'd react right there. You'd be just, dead. Jesus, take the wheel. Like, <laughs> maybe a rap, but you fought and you won, so kudos to you. That's amazing. All right, so 
we started that because I asked about the um the dance studio and the or the studio I should say it's not just dance it's fucking how to survive this guy and uh, well it's a, self it's defense. a lot about women empowerment I think and so that um, women empowerment I would I would I would definitely say what so what else do you do besides the self defense the dance classes that's women empowerment style dancing one thousand percent all right one thousand I'm interested I'll bite yeah. how does how does dancing empower women. Ooh, let me count the ways. Oh my god, I feel like I asked a great question Ooh, here. So, right, um, <laughs> and, hands above the waist. <laughs> let, me first, let me first start by saying I do have a male teacher at my studio okay. who teaches male and female dance classes. Um, so you because in? it's important to me to I empower people, not just women, but obviously as a girl, I can relate to girls pretty easy. Um, so when someone comes to a dance class, nah, no, 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 I'm gonna chill. Hold on. Yeah, oh, oh. That Shit. that went down fast. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So like any dance class, and I just don't even believe this about my studio, right? Um, you go there. Hey, you want some? Sorry, I'm I'm still listening. I just cool. want to make sure everybody's good. If you have a great teacher then you have a great experience and in one hour you learn a dance and you typically tend to leave feeling accomplished, right? I mean, I've never done it, but I, I feel like if I went somewhere and learned to dance in and an I hour, left, yeah, I'd feel good about myself. Right? Put it this way, I have, I have a nine-year-old, or ten-year-old, shit, and he uh, he's always trying to learn these little 30-second dances on TikTok, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And every time he does, he's like, Dad, look, I got another one. And I'm like, so I get it, you know? like." There's like a sense of accomplishment sorry, when you... Pause this real quick. Yeah. You want, do you, are I don't you know what you're dealing with this thing. It just feels like it's going to fall. If it's not falling, yeah, I well, would just stop yet. touching it. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't want you to be uncomfortable thinking you have to hold it. It's In the history of our podcast, we've never had one of these fall off, Today's ever. The day. All right, I feel like that thing's going at some point. But I we'll, mean, we'll, then we'll, you can go Sinatra style and just hold the <laughs> mic, you know? Nah, we'll fix it. I feel like Ant's eyeballing it. He'll take care of it. Um, so, all right, so people come to your class. You have a male teacher, and they can learn a choreographed dance in an hour? They can. You guys are that and good? And I think, in general, that that's most dance classes. And I think, in general, if you have a good teacher who is invested in your learning, then you're going to leave after an hour with a sense of accomplishment. That's... You can also do that with a boxing class, a Zumba class, a mm. yoga class. Basically, as long as you left better than you came in. Right. You know, you and, like, having gained something, right? Mm. So, maybe, like, you gained a dance. You know, like, you know, like, oh, I learned it. Good. Right? You, like, check box off. Boom. Um, and those little, like, hour classes are, like, kind of, like, boosts for your self-esteem and boost for your confidence, right? So, like, you go somewhere for an hour, you accomplish something, and you leave feeling good. And then you do it the next week, mm. and you do it again, and you do it again. And so you have these little moments and these little boosts of confidence in your overall yeah. well-being where maybe you take harder classes or maybe you learn a dance that you didn't think you were going to get and you start to build confidence in areas that you didn't have at the beginning of that very class. So in one mm-hmm. hour, you can shift how you feel about something, including yourself. Um, and that adds up. So I, I tell all my teachers, like, you know, don't ever minimize what you're doing. In my studio, it's very important that we be invested in the students. So don't just teach the dance for the sake of the dance. Like, don't leave a student behind. You I know? like that. I want you to... I think that's a good teaching quality, regardless of what you're teaching. Right? Like must be great exercise too. I'm sure it's a nice hour workout for people. Oh definitely. You were sweating, <laughs> Bro, right? She's one fifteen. She told you her legs kept a two hundred and fifty pound dude back. That's like, what I'm so. saying. So it's like she's like, like I was like, if you look at off the ground and I spun him with my feet, like Well, if you're looking to get some cardio in and you know, going to the gym's boring, you can do something fun. Go right, there's the dance people classes. there, you're like laughing, you're learning something new. So I just think what it does overall for people's confidence is it just kind of builds it up little by little over time. And the more you accomplish something, the more you believe in yourself, right? So Fair. I feel like, and I tell my students this, your dance classes are having a hand in how big of a life this person is going to have because when they feel more confident, they'll strive for more, they'll believe that they, they can accomplish more mm. right so like don't think that your little dance class is just a dance class when they leave here accomplished 
they are more confident when they are more confident they are going after more right so your dance class will give this person a bigger life so I really, really, really firmly believe that the dance classes are very empowering. Shit, you just made it empowering with that explanation. I'm also, sold. we do sexy dancing. Well, I was going to say, the story was cool about you getting assaulted in the dance class. What about pole dancing? You had mentioned pole dancing earlier. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> And we do something <laughs> called Sex Life Sunday. Like, let's get into whoa, 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 it. Whoa, wait a second. So let's, what do we, the pole dancing uh-huh. is separate from Sex Life Sunday. Yes, it is. And I've definitely seen some, you know, like videos on the the studio's Instagram. Do you like them? No, I hate them. Sorry, you don't. Did you like them? I'm gonna follow the page right now. Oh yes, honey. What do you? Why did you give me the no? I don't know if you can answer that. I won't get nobody in trouble. Listen, today. there's nobody getting in trouble. Actually, okay. the lady's gonna be signing up for one. So, hey, or girl, a cup or... come with me. We're gonna have so <laughs> much fun. His will also. This thing's, thing's going. That thing's coming out. Look, Mike. All right, yeah. don't do this to me while we're about to talk Call about Jamie pole dancing here. and it's sex life Sunday. It's gonna happen. You're welcome. This is, this is the Protect plan your face. all along. Protect your face. <laughs> this was the plan all along. I knew it was. I could tell. Perfect. But hey, mine's broke too. Shut up. Yeah, crank it like that. Keep, keep cranking it. Listen, I'm going to accidentally let it slip in bro, this bro. direction. It's going to accidentally. Keep cranking it. Go that way. I feel like if we just Righty, tighty, it, lefty, loosey. Jeez. Okay, now can you say in it? Yeah, that's all you had to do, bro, was slide it up. All right, well, I don't want to disturb the uh, podcast. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, you did a great job there. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I don't know. I'm canceling my class. Oh, I'm telling you right now, the clip for this episode (laughs) is just going to be from, like, here up, you leaning over and him being like, yeah, just crank it like that. (laughs) Crank it like that. All right. All right, yeah, somebody's reputation is going way up and somebody's going way down. (laughs) I don't know who's who, but... I'm ready. All right. All right. So, in addition to women's self defense, and. That's not where we started. That's where we ended up at, right? Well, that's what you we do now after your situation, right? At Sex Life Sunday. So, when you opened the studio, tell me about it. When did you open your studio? Sep- I'm assuming you love to dance and you're like, fuck this. I want to teach people to do it. Yup. Okay. All right. When did that happen? <laughs> September. September 2018. September 20th? No, 20, 2018. September 5th. Oh, okay. September, September 5th, of 2018. I was like, damn, that's mine and my girl's anniversary. This is a sign. We shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> but, all right, so you started the studio. You said Sex Life Sunday. Is that the first thing you started doing? or? Um, We started it right away with the studio, and it was like the biggest class and took off. Now, do people go there directly from church? <laughs> you know You'd be surprised, bro. I'm just kidding. I bet those white gloves and big hats come off like, all right, let's do this shit. I feel like self-love and self-care comes in all forms and... How are you not Googling or finding some clips of Sex Life Sunday right now, bro? Mike and I, I are sitting here waiting patiently. I've never Googled it. Nah, well, you're, oh my God, it on. comes up. Okay. <laughs> I was all like, right, wait, so, I'm nervous. But you continue. The, the, you know, the viewers will see this. We'll take a peek once he's ready. So and when I was a young child, Sex Life Sunday had a whole different meaning. <laughs> what did it mean? Well, it was I went to church when I was younger. So just saying. Oh, you <laughs> can't talk about that you had right a now. Priest? <laughs> you're a Catholic. I didn't know that. Yeah, confession. Sex Life Sunday was rough for you, bro. <laughs> Sorry. This this seems much better. Why are we joking about that? And like after the story she just told us. I think if you look, oh uh, yeah, maybe that be the hashtag. I'm not sure. Oh, let you and Daniela or the share studio, her uh, maybe? Facebook info. <laughs> this is why it's Facebook. He doesn't have a Facebook. Nice. <laughs> bro, she's got to be like, yeah. What uh, the fuck? Yeah. Who are hey, you talking girl, to? I want you to come to Sex Life Sunday too, honey. Yeah, We're going to have more. such a good time. Let's check this clip out. Okay, but that's not Sex Life Sunday. That's not but Sex Life Sunday. But the next one is, okay. Nope, no, no. Keep going. Sorry. Damn was it. That no, 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 that was good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to go back. <laughs> no, go to a set. We want, it's connected to the about. Instagram, so it's confusing me a little bit here because I'm not sure. Oh, I like her hair. But My girl has really curly hair, but she won't cut it short. I've been asking her to cut it short, so it's like big and poofy. But is this what Facebook looks like on a uh, actual desktop I know, desktop it's, computer? it's like weirding me it's out. So I'm not sure I don't happening. think I've ever gone on Facebook on a desktop. Is that Sex Life Sunday? No. That's Stiletto Sundays. Yeah, yeah, it's a little Saturdays. Can well, we like open up? Oh, my bad. It's a lot of stuff happening. Can yeah, we go right. like the videos maybe? You know what? Let's let Ann find this. I'm trying to figure it out. You can yeah. explain you more got, of I, it. I, so. 
Uh, Should be girls on the floor. Jesus. Let's find that video, most please. Most likely. So, you started. No, don't look up girls. Look up sex life. You text them the missus. I'm sorry. The video I'm sorry will be for girls this. on the floor. Um, oh, right there. A little a little sex life Sunday to get um, the Um, Look at the life. next one, actually. Okay, the next one. Yeah. We let boys into Sex Life Sunday. We did, because we have a boy, you know? We have yeah, boys well, probably couples, too, right? I'm assuming. Uh, no like couples? Right now, all right. Yay, <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Hey, can we get some more volume or no? Sure. I couldn't even hear that. That wasn't even a full dance. That's the one you told them to click. <laughs> These are students. Oh, shit. I hope, are they going to be okay with this? I don't know. So maybe we should not do Yeah, f- maybe find one of just you so you can consent to it. Yep. Because like, I, like I don't know that. if they're okay, okay with like 110,000 so, people um, seeing the, them on this. The, um, <laughs> this one right there that your cursor's on. Yep, that's definitely me. And I consent. You consent? I put it on the mic. That's your studio? No, that was, we did Sex Life Sunday at a different oh. studio. We oh, take it, it to other location? studios all the time, yeah. You guys should do it on the podcast. Not the reaction I expected. Now, what do we do? We just buy tickets to come watch this? <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop talking? We do a couple's <laughs> dance on Valentine's I'm trying to educate Day myself every here. year. I don't know what's going on, but I'm sold. All right, Aunt, we got to stop. We got to stop. Yeah. Gonna, I'm going to have to click that parental <laughs> advisory Jesus. link when I see this. And that's what you teach. So you teach those kind of moves. Yeah. Because yep. I feel like I try to do those moves, and it's not as elegant. And right, so I got the missing puzzle piece for you. All right, cool. Now, you just said, though, you do um, couples on Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. but there were dudes in the last one. Well, we do a lap dance on Valentine's Day. Okay. You so. teach them or you do them? We teach them. Okay. You got to be specific with this it. If I'm going to go spend oh, so my you, money, so you tell teach, me where I'm spending my you money. You teach the wife how to give the husband a lap dance. Yes, yes. That's weird in your house. <laughs> well that's cool um, that's nice yeah you could probably pull that up on the Facebook that does one of our um, biggest events I'm just reading the tab up there controversial child sex doll <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're that has nothing <laughs> that has nothing to do with our studio I repeat nothing that's, that's to a do totally with. different tab Jesus that's oh, Josh's that's personal out, file <laughs> this, is not, this is his computer bro. Um, can you like, show more <laughs> It's that yellow. Yeah. Attention? Mm-hmm. And this is the couples? Yeah. And there'll be like, you know, 20 couples in a room. And the guys just kind of make out here? Do you teach them to like throw it back a little? No, they just make out. A good tune. Yeah. You just get to enjoy. God bless you for creating this business. I, I feel like this should be so popular. <laughs> How, uh, why are you saying it's not so popular? No, I'm not saying well she's doing. No, it should be. It should be. This is a great idea. Thank you. So you started this back. In, yeah, stop. I can't take anymore. Thank you. So <laughs> we do that. So that's one of the classes you teach, and that's every Sunday? Not the lap dance, but the sex life the Sunday? The sex life is, is every other Sunday. And now if people, like I'm sure if people want to sign up, they can go to your Instagram, go to your Facebook. Or, yes. Yep. All right, cool. In your so skin we'll, studio we'll plug, on we'll Facebook. We'll plug all that stuff at the end. At the end. At the, now they're going to just stop plug listening. Away. Plug now away. they're going to stop listening. They're, they're like, found it, bitches. Bye. Searching. <laughs> so, no, that's dope. Um, And you have, like, spots available? Is it full or... No, we have spots available usually. Sure. Yeah, get in there. You know, the classes always fill up, but um, this so, is the space where you can come. Josh can come in and learn to dance sexy. Like, that's how confident I am in what we do. I'm just saying. Whoa. I'm just hold saying. Hold on, hold like, on, hold bring, on. Like, Why am I the model for if you can get me to do it, <laughs> your confidence Whoa. has to be pretty high? All I'm saying is if you can get any man. All right, no. any man. Any like, man. That sounds more fair. Because you got to remember, I'm probably a little You're more agile than most man. men. Thank You're just you. quite a manly man. That's a good right? way to say it. That's um, what my teachers told me, so <laughs> I'll take that shit. I don't know, so. man. I feel like Drew. I mean, Mike's kind of filling in for my normal co-host today. Um, he's having a rough man. He uh, had a medical procedure done, and 
his poor weenie. That's all I can say. But uh, I think that um, I think it'd be fun, man, if we gave it a shot. The problem is, is there's no way I feel like either of us would last through one of your classes. I'm a pusher. You'll be fine. Same. <laughs> yeah, I think we should send Josh to have a class, do a class. <laughs> so I think it would be great content. Be great content for your show. It would be great content. It would be great promotion for her. We'll bring you to the mail class. It's perfect. I do have a question. Um, with like, and that's not you say you do pole dancing too. Mm-hmm. Is it for beginners though, or do you have like? I have all levels. We have intro, beginners, intermediate, advanced. I give respect. Where, where would you rank them? yourself, like advanced? She teaches, dude. That's what I'm saying, but... She- I have been dancing pole for um, 10 years. So you're like a Hall of Famer. Almost 11. I have oh, how about are there, are there a competition any- or two. I have judged a competition of 10. Purposes. Are there any, <laughs> are there any videos fool. of you or anybody pole dancing in, in your class? For research purposes. Well, we want to see what's yeah. going on in there. Well, yeah. you know, the first thing that we could see is... Uh, I want to make sure it's safe. How about a couple... Can you, a couple can days you ago, a weeks ago, Sada the goat. That, would it be the best way to find it? The girl that fucking fell off that pole, bro, and hit her. And face. then she kept dancing. Oh my god! Did you see On that Instagram? video? She broke her jaw. Um, I did see that. Oh, that, that she broke her jaw. So that was interesting. We had mixed reviews. Some of my friends were like, "Oh, stuff happened." Some of my friends were like, "What but, was she thinking?" Yeah, but how many poles are that tall? That was like a, a seems lot of like them. a freakishly pole. A I'm tall. I'll tell you right now. She's yeah. like seven in Rhode Island. Any other questions? <laughs> That was an 18 foot. Uh, <laughs> if you scroll down, there's like one very clear pole video. Saw the goat on Instagram. That one. Yes. Oh my goodness. Very clear. It's so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> very clear. This is probably going to be showed on our YouTube channel. Are you cool with that? Yeah, for okay. sure. Just checking. <laughs> this is an amazing song. Love your wardrobe too. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Yep, she's high level. <laughs> Mike's like, good enough. Yeah, I'm sold. Good enough to teach. So okay. I teach. Um, hey, can you put the AC back on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I teach more than anything um, grace and ease and comfort in your skin, which is why the name of the studio is what it is. Okay, so that's probably earlier you were talking about all of your classes are um, like empowerment, you know, like getting people to just come and no matter what level. Are we boring you? No, I'm trying to follow her on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, he's texting. She's yawning. No. I'm not. It's happening. Listen, Um, watch the followers about to go up. (laughs) So, where was I? All right. So, it's really about teaching anybody of any skill level to come in and... Refresh that. Any shape, any size, just feel sexy. A thousand percent. It's not something that... Boom. Um, 322. <laughs> cool. It's getting yeah. real. Yeah, I just I just uh, followed your page. So. I think a lot of times you see uh, people <clears throat> that you admire. Like you see Beyonce and you think she's just gifted and blessed, right? And you don't necessarily um, understand that there's an option for you to work for that. Yeah, it goes this hard work that goes into what she does. For sure. Come on, grab yourself some whiskey, bro. Do it up. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Make it happen. Do it. Atta boy. Make it, make it happen. Right. Atta boy. Do it. There you go. Slide each one over. <laughs> wow, I don't want to knock Get anything over. It. <laughs> All right, so that that's actually pretty cool. Pretty. It's more than pretty cool. That's super cool. And yeah, you know, feel free to show any of the group classes because then you'll see how bad my women are, honey. Well, we definitely don't want to show that now. Yeah. It's like, look at that's Lisa. She's terrible. You zoom in on her. She can't fucking move at all. No. Oh, did you mean bad in a good way? Yeah. Oh, no. He's an old okay, man. He's an old man. He didn't, okay. he didn't no. understand the lingo. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wait, that's what the kids are saying. Bad is good and good is bad. <laughs> Let's see a group. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's turned into Facebook just a is tough. Comment, commentating. Facebook on a computer looks so weird. Yeah, and Facebook. What is all this gray space everywhere? Apparently, doesn't always agree. Wait, let me see where we are. Facebook. So, which only, video like, are you looking for now? My videos. Uh, just like a group video. I want you to see all. All anyway. The point is that all the girls they come in, they, um, 
do amazing doing the dances. Because Not bad. Have, they don't do bad. No, they like do thought, amazing. Okay. Um, because I'm very confident in our technique and I'm very confident in um, how devoted we are to the students. As I said, like no student gets left behind. All right, so just to... It's cute, but that's not Sex Life Sunday. No, but... Um, okay, go up. I mean, there's not... We should have searched this Facebook before. and had a few videos ready on deck. Go to... I mean, I want you to get one with a lot of girls. That's one, right? What's heels dance? I saw a lot of girls in that one. Bottom yes. left? No, but that no? is a different class. That's one of the dance classes. Um, go in the other direction. We can't, we can't do this on Instagram because this would be more... I feel like Facebook is betraying me. I feel like Can while we're here, we should go through Daniela's DMs. Can I be sincere? Us? Stop! <laughs> Daniela, I will never let them, honey. <laughs> I am, I'm here for you, girl. Okay, uh, scroll up and go to the studio page. Yeah. It's getting crazy. It is getting a little Okay, wild. look at these two in the middle. The top in the middle. Yeah. There's just two students that I know would be okay with And this, this is two, were they beginners? They were beginners. You have a really good camera. Oh, we have a videographer from time to time. I was time. just thinking the same thing. That's we have a great, videographer great from video. time to time because we want the girls to look good and feel good. We care about it. And that's your actual studio right there, mm -hmm. right? And Looks like one of those choreo. converted lofts. I like it. What's that big trophy for? The big purple one? Uh, pole competition I won in 2012. Respect. Appreciate you. Oh, you've been doing this shit. You're no genius. <laughs> okay. So you can definitely teach them. All right. The girls look great. All the girls look great. I'm confident in, like I said, in our system. I'm confident in, in how we care about the students' um, progress. You good, Mike? I'm good. Is it cute? <laughs> okay, so now that you've seen, do you like the videos? Uh, absolutely. I think you got a great, you got a great thing going here. Yay! Thank absolutely. You. <laughs> I think you got a great thing going. Yay. No, I hate it. Wow, that's pretty dope. Um, I forgot where we got here. I'm not mad at how we got here. But the the pole dancing studio also offers this. Mm -hmm. And you um obviously you, you everything. Do pole dancing. I want everything to happen with grace and ease, right? So I don't want to see you struggle. For your trick, I don't want to see you struggle for your dance move. I don't want to see you. Um, so I want to see you struggle. I want to see you thrive. You can't put on silent, bro. Nobody calls me. Jesus. The one time he's popular. The one time. Jesus, man. So what's up, Mike? Would you have asked the wife to take a class or see if she'd be interested? Or I'll definitely show her the page and see what she thinks. <laughs> I'm not about it. Tell her I'm really friendly. I will. Absolutely. Poor Mike. Last time he came in, we had a. Uh, oh my god, dude! It was so just much better like, than the guest I was with last time. Like, <laughs> hey, hey like, he, he probably watches this. Don't say that, listen, dude. Listen, she is so much better than you. <laughs> if he's watching, <laughs> he's no, definitely seriously, watching. He was like part of like a heavy metal band, but like I had no clue who he was. Listen, he was popular in the heavy metal yeah. scene. I just didn't know who he was, so it made it difficult. <laughs> I'm not a heavy metal fan, so I'm you not. gotta die over here. I, 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 I didn't you. I when didn't this know. Gets big, I, I just, when this gets big, I felt so big. out of place. This, I, I love this. <laughs> when this gets big, the internet is gonna crucify you. Yeah, how could you say that? For being an unprofessional journalist. I think the internet is gonna agree that you're a much better guest, so I think the internet's gonna be on my side. <laughs> Whoa. But anyway, I, he was a very nice kid. What what band was he in? Failing Sky. They're actually doing Failing a reunion Sky. tour. Yeah, he's got a concert soon at um, I don't know. That shit keeps changing. It used yeah. to be Lupo's. I don't know what it's called now. I have no idea. Um, so. Strand. Yeah, yeah. So how about that coronavirus? <laughs> well, that was a clean uh, segue. <laughs> I like anyway. it. Nice I transition, huh? Nice transition. I'm not scared of it. Are you scared of it? That's the real question. Are you scared of it? No, I'm not scared of it. I just. Are I, you scared of it? Um, I'm not scared I'm not of it, big, uh, but a few a days ago, scared, honey. I'm, I'm definitely, I think I'm starting to understand the concern a little more. I wouldn't say I'm scared, but a few days ago I was brushing it off and attributing a lot of the 
hype to just overhypeness and I was kind of one of those people that said, oh, it's just like a flu, don't worry about it, it'll go away. But I think the more that I, I read into it and I'm starting to realize that it's it feels a little different for me and I think the real challenge is not with the virus itself, but the medical industry's ability to um, handle that capacity of people getting infected. You know, because if you get the flu and go to the hospital right now, no biggie, they can take care of you. Mm-hmm. But if, um, and double check this, but I think they're only like, maybe like 2 million or something or 270,000 hospital beds in the United States. So if we're talking about that many people getting a very curable virus, but we don't have enough um, resources to help them, now that virus that doesn't really have to be deadly starts to turn deadly. I mean, think about this, right? Like Italy, um, a few weeks ago, there was no concern there. You know, they had no cases. Like the coronavirus wasn't a thing. And now, I don't know how many cases are in Italy, but it's to the point where the the, the entire, think about they the entire six, country. They million people are on quarantine in Italy. The entire country is, like, shut down. There's no sporting events. Yeah. There's no major events. The entire country just passed a, um, it's not a law because it's not permanent, but, um, like, a temporary hold on ad. mortgage payments. So, like, if you're a homeowner oh. in Italy right now, you don't have to pay your mortgage yeah, you, you can't because you can't go to work. Because, yeah. yeah, they're expecting the entire country to just stay in your home, not go to work. Don't do, Like, when have we ever seen... We've had Ebola and SARS and, you know, swine flu where it's like, okay, it started, to, then nothing happened. But when have we seen the, like, countries shut down like that? And Italy is, I think, the oldest country in the world. And um, they're saying that this uh, the coronavirus affects old people much more. Oh, you, mean you can look it up. Age. I think they're the oldest country well, this is what by it average happens. age this in the is, world. This is what it. This is where mm-hmm. it happens to come become like prevalent and relevant. Right? Is that um, coronavirus is most dangerous to anyone who is having any kind of immune issue already? Right. Yeah. Right. Older so if you're a healthy infants. person, yep. not so much an issue. If you're an older person, if you have any kind of immune disease or deficiency or anything like that Mm. then you're at high risk and so when you go to a place like italy where the people live long and there's a lot of old people then and there's not necessarily and i've been to italy so i know not necessarily the same um hygiene which like i love italy i don't want to say like that you're saying italians be stinking like no 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 no, no. i mean like i remember Mm. and let me clarify like i remember i was in venice and i've been to several parts of italy venice and rome and milan i've been to several parts of italy so it's um i just know that um like the cobblestone is like the original cobblestone that like Julius Caesar was walking on. That's right. So, dope. so you have to understand the level of age and dirt and everything it just embedded in the city, I think, to be fair, like because it is old that which is the most beautiful city I've ever been to. Italy? Well, Italy is a country, so I don't know why I said that. Like Rome, like Rome mm-hmm. being so old that way, I thought that was so amazing. Um but I remember walking down the streets of Venice and they have like these like water spouts that would be equivalent to a water fountain here like in school you remember the water fountains Mm -hmm. that you would go up to we call those bubblers but they're like uh made out of stone and the water is like comes out the well or something but it's just like a spout that spews like spring water and Mm -hmm. like you literally can like just go up to it and put your bottle to it and fill up your water bottle or like you Not anymore. Go, you can go up to it and like <laughs> right. You can go up to it and like sip it in your hands, and that's where I say that the hygiene, and I mean by like maybe sanitation. I'm not sure the word I'm looking for. I get what you're saying, but like they're like regulations aren't as tight as they are in America. Like, which I think right. Which yeah, which, they're setting their own way over there. Which is so bomb because like then you have these dope. When I did go, mm-hmm. they had these dope water spouts that were all clean. Let me just ask and, you a very important question. Yeah. How recently were you in Italy? Oh, you're so cute. Uh, I was probably like, t- I was 23, 24, maybe. All right, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, it's been years. But this is like a couple weeks. Well, I know in Italy, no. when they when Europe, they changed it over to the Euro, it was like mass problems in Italy because like, a lot of the older people were like, no, we, well, I'm not changing all my money over. They didn't want to change the money over. They were confused by the new money. Was, Bro, I don't blame them. Imagine yeah, no, if you I were just you. told right now your dollars don't, there's no value to Absolutely. your dollars anymore. Yeah, change them in. Like, I don't care how you feel about it. And I yeah, know how you like, feel what? about it. 
That's tough. The government, like, anywhere, too, can do that. Like, make a change that drastically affects your life and be like, tough shit, dude. So I think if we are um, thinking about the coronavirus and who it affects, then places like Italy, but also places like Africa and India, right, where they have a combination of... Mm a high population and a lot of and immune not great health care right a lot right. of immune deficiency not access to the shit that we have a lot of immune deficiency then something like corona can spread so yeah, far yeah i so read fast something about they were worried so about it getting over to india or africa and it just spreading like crazy because of that reason mm-hmm. they don't have exactly. access to health care so i feel like that's where it becomes like a real life you so know, you don't think learning. america is too much of a threat really here don't. at home now and I asked this, and I'm not assuming anything from you, but I feel like that's how I felt recently. And I think that that might almost be a defense mechanism out of, like, fear almost. You know, because it's it's easy and it feels safe to say, oh, we don't have to worry about that. It's I'm not, not saying we don't have out. to worry about it. I'm saying um, unless you have, from what I've learned from what I've researched, mm. right? And you have to be, like, pick choosy. And take everything with a grain of salt in this day and age. But yeah, because you can find one article that says one thing and then the opposite of another right. article. Right. Um, so far, it seems to me that it is a flu unless you have a pre-existing condition. Right. right? Like your that's, immune system is already shot. That's what it, I have mm. been made clear to me. That's my understanding. And if my understanding is wrong, then that's different. But that's my understanding of it. So I feel like... Um, you know, if you have someone in your family that has an immune deficiency disease, like you would be very worried. I would expect right. you to be very worried. I would say that that is very fair and appropriate. Um, but but also, personally, most people our age that are. If you, you don't know, know yeah. someone, then I feel like you are okay. That's not fair to the people that do know someone, but I just feel like it's instead of fact, everyone though. panicking, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like you're fine. I'm fine. Like, I think, like, certain people are fine. I and, agree with that. You know, like, obviously keep your yourself clean for the sake of you, why would you yeah. want to put that on somebody else? Right. Don't be know? like the people in Italy. It's so early, with too. With their bad hygiene. It's so I early. What are we like? I did not say that. I said <laughs> they have water that comes out of rocks in the street, and that just seems like different than s- how we do stuff here. I, I've just never seen. Thing. I've just never seen. No, it was very safe, and I drank the water and didn't get sick. So it was very safe. But I've never seen okay. that here in America. Uh, have you ever been to Foxwoods? They have what? There's one. I'm serious. There's one corner on the way to Foxwoods where there's an actual natural spring and the water just comes right out of it. You can. Uh, people are always over there filling up those big gallons. Oh, oh. bomb. I actually super didn't bomb. know that. Yeah, right, but bomb. just like that, right? So, you know, at some point that might not be the best thing to do if Corona becomes... Good idea. Bet you right, it's right now, right? You know right what now. I mean. So mm-hmm. I just feel, but they have like that would be a more common thing there. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like things like that probably, and then the older people stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I think it's gonna uh, be a lot more of a shock to people in the very, you know, like in the coming weeks when we're noticing events starting to be canceled. Things that you know are they are getting canceled, right? You yeah, know, they like, canceled the uh, parade in Boston, St. Patrick's yeah. Day parade. Or, dude, even sporting events. There's um, a buddy of mine mm-hmm. works for the NCAA, and there was just a women's basketball game that typically there are a few thousand people in attendance. Mm-hmm. And they, sh- they didn't let any fans. Yeah, in. they canceled what the I- Ivy League. Uh, I believe the Ivy League championship tournament, the NCAA basketball. Really? Yeah, I mean, you can look that up. I think yeah. it's the like. The Ivy League tournament completely canceled. Yeah. A lot of people are speculating that the, uh, the main event in the World Series of Poker isn't going to happen this year. Daniel Legrano said that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Um, think about it. That's the, the way this event is set up, that's, I think, 10,000 people play this thing in one casino, like a few different rooms. It's like, and that's poker. You're with and, you, and you're, yeah, you're sitting next to people for hours mm-hmm. and hours and hours. Dude, one of my friends, like one of my best friends works um, at Goldman Sachs and Wall Street. It's a stockbroker. So they're like all in a call center close together. Now you got to think this is Wall Street in the United States. Like they're not about to make any decisions that could potentially cost them money right. unless they have to. They're That's, the last that, people in America. I agree. That's the scary part is like it almost seems like the government knows more yeah. about how Ooh. bad it is than they're saying. It's like because it, like when you look at it, we have 350 million people in the country and there's like yeah. what, 500? I mean, what's that like? Point zero zero one percent have it, low, low percentage. and it's like they're canceling Wait, these huge events. And it's no, like, it's less than that, dude. Well, whatever it is, it's, yeah. it's super low, and it's like they're canceling all. It's like it seems what like you're you not telling us, yeah. So, I but wait just... a minute, if they, if they know more, if they know this is way worse and it spreads way worse than they're saying, 
That's I mean, scarier than the virus scary. itself. Yeah, it is kind of scary. I just know, right, that I think in a bigger picture, it only takes like one person with corona to have a business trip in India and all hell breaks loose, right? So I feel uh, like the... It's, it's, it's bound to happen. I mean, it's, it's well, everywhere. The problem is that I long the, incubation period. Like, and, and well, you yeah. can be infected and contagious without even having symptoms, you know? Yeah, and on, on Rogan's podcast today, they were saying that um, a guy that was te- j- just no symptoms at all being shown, and he tested him. He was already like very contagious. They said very, very contagious. It was in his throat or whatever, and they said they super contagious, and he wasn't even showing any symptoms yet. It was the very beginning, so it's like how many people are at that stage right now in the beginning? Like you right now, yeah. I could be like that right exactly. now. Exactly, and you're already like con- right already now. contaminating people, exactly. and they don't even know they have it. I just so. say, you know, it's like having a flu. I wouldn't want to contaminate we hope. anyone. Well, but we hope it's just like the flu. It's not worse, you know? We just, it's, it's so early. It's We're a month in now. What, a month? As, yeah. of, right we're now, a month in as of right now, the numbers are still that flu is killing more people than coronavirus. Well, I mean, so. it's only been a month, so who knows? That, yeah. The, the I mean? problem is with people, a lot of people don't realize, like, exponential growth when, you know, something, time, even just as small as a number of times two, you know, if something just doubles, where with this, it could easily, you know, I could... You're not cut off once you infect one person, you know. So the the limit is not to double. Like I could infect mm-hmm. you, and now I just doubled my infection. But I, we could do this exponentially, and I can infect all three of you. Well, so yeah. now that that number just quadrupled, you know. Yeah, there was supposedly like an Uber driver that tested positive. It's like how many people were in his car with him? Well, you know those dumbasses on the cruise, bro, that locked them all oh, in a oh fucking. Did you hear about that? How about my girlfriend went on a cruise that left on Monday, and she just really insisted. Bad on idea. Going. Bad idea. And I was like, girl, I will see you in a month when they let you back in America, girl, because they are how about not. I, how about I'll see you in three months when you're back in America and quarantined for two months, and then. Well, well, they're not even. I'm like, they're gonna leave you on the water for a month, honey, before they even let you come back on the land. It's probably they're doing it right now. I think in Oakland, like I'm there's like, a. You want to go be on a ship with five? Like, get, don't get me twisted. Like I don't necessarily. I don't want coronavirus any more than I want the damn flu. Like I don't want the flu either. I don't right, want right. to experience yeah. that level of sickness on either end. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna go and like. Don't Put set yourself up for on failure. A, yeah. On a space with 5,000 people and no exit. Like, yeah. I'll be damned if no. I'm going to do that level of... <laughs> well, not only I don't, that. I'm not, not worried about the coronavirus. Like I said, that's like saying like there's an outbreak of flu and I'm just going to go be on a boat with five... I wouldn't yeah. do it well, either even, way. Even if, even if nobody on the boat has coronavirus, 5,000 people... Somebody's gonna get sick. Just the, someone's gonna get a fever, even if it's not coronavirus. Someone's gonna get sick. Someone's gonna throw up on the boat, and next thing you know, everyone's gonna be in a panic because right. everyone's gonna think you yeah, have it. Right, right. Somebody so gets seasick. Worse, you know what I mean? Somebody exactly. gets seasick and they're tackling you. The I did hear. Head. Next thing you know, they're shutting down, the, going in your room for three days. You know what oh I mean? I did hear someone yeah. say like it, it can't survive in hot weather. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think that's. From what I heard today on a podcast that I listened to, it that's not true at all. But okay. I also just heard it today on one podcast, so yeah. I'm sure I it's, could read yeah, something that says it can't. Again, I, so out, I sure. feel like so much of the the um, like underinvestment in how serious it is is to me it it just does feel like it's that ignorance is bliss attitude. You know, like we don't have to worry about it. You know, like just because it's it, there's comfort in ignoring it. I know? just feel like I mean. Like, how scared were you of Ebola for three weeks? How scared of you were swine for six weeks? How scared of you were... Like, I just always yeah. feel like there are, these, there are these things... Media too. I get that. There are these things but. that come and are like, oh my God, you have to be on alert. And then and then you will never even talk about it again. Like, mm. I'll be damned if I just give all this energy to something that I know won't matter in a year. Like... Let me see. I At this point, I've seen so many coronaviruses that I'm going to need more proof before you sell me. I'll be damned if I'm stressed the way I do All right, it's so early. It's so and early. And do you remember when swine came out? That was like the first one that I can really That's remember. The first. SARS. I feel like. SARS. Remember SARS? That was before swine? I think so. You know, that's I don't true. Know. I don't really remember, but like, swine so happened. Well, you know more. what? It's 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 true though. If if social media was bigger back then, it probably would have when been SARS the same was too. big. It probably would have felt just like this because it would have bl- you would have yeah. seen videos in China. Because I just remember seeing and SARS on the news. Things, right. Again, the one thing that's common. What would common Ebola and, do to India? What would Ebola do to Africa? Like these are not things to take lightly, but mm. they're not things to 
like frantically panic no over. and damn sure not in america i'm sorry hashtag america number one in healthcare, oh, women's okay. rights number lgbtq rights in so number 14 in happiness <laughs> says. what I, I searched it. Yeah, but you know what? I feel like people just look for shit to be upset about in America sometimes. Because oh, it's so good. It's like, all right, what can we I complain can't. about? It's a lack of perspective. People that's all. What can we can, yeah, people yeah. love being outraged. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you just meet a few people that, you know, like, are from not just vacation to the good spots. Like, I know people that have been like, oh, I've been to Colombia. You know, I've seen how beautiful it is. Like, no, motherfucker. There are people from Colombia that, like, don't have a chance at any type of life that we have. So you meet some, like, people from other countries that moved here to get a better life, and you realize, like, it's not a bad spot to be. Um, yo, and I want to talk about that that um, tab you had earlier, that Michael. Oh, jeez. I, I had to. You, I was going to ignore it. You brought this it up. Is, this is crazy. Controversial. It's an old article, but I still got to. Because I, I saw a few people posting about it today, and yeah, I wanted I, to. Yeah, I mean, we got to talk about this. Can we? intersect on this because the word came out and that means the universe wanted me to say what I'm about to say. Say say Joe Biden is a pedophile and we're about to get into it. Let's get it. That's it. We can we can talk about. I don't really know a lot. I about love Biden. making fun of Joe Biden. I saw. I I do too. I saw a video clip of him today that look, I, I, was so, like, I hate to say, but look up touching little girls. I hate to say oh, yeah, it, but well, look up. I, we got to talk well, about well, that doll though. Go back to that doll. Don't you dare switch this yet. Go back to that doll. Because yeah, exactly. This is crazy. What I've seen people saying about is at their first reaction, right? And listen, don't attack me, guys. I'm gonna say some oh, shit that's gonna have you. This is horrible. No, I know where you're I'm going. Gonna say and some I kind of gonna have some, agree with you to a have point. Have you questioning my my morals for a second? At first, though, it's horrible, right? Mm-hmm. Now let's Why? explain it. For, let's explain what what this is here. This, I mean, I'm trying. This, I, I, can, I can no, no, already understand. What, what I'm a is. very I'm a very compassionate person. I can already understand. Um, the potential benefit, if you will, to something like this. Um, I also understand the potential risk, so that's what that would be, and I think they're both equal. Let's read the title first so people know where... A lot of people just listen, so that's what I mean. This article we're looking at right now, the headline is, Controversial Child Sex Dolls Floated as Treatment for Pedophiles. So there's some thought about... Discuss, yeah. Yeah. Discuss. There's some thought about people providing pedophiles with sex dolls to fuck to prevent them from fucking actual children maybe to to the real the reality is to um, address those triggers and those urges that these people do really feel right whether or not it's right or wrong it's real in them okay right so i think that's why i said like i can understand um like what they're aiming for I, I, i worry that it would just like perpetuate the problem, right? That's the other side of it. I feel like it's equal on both sides. I like that you said that. I I saw I looked in on a debate today. It was on social media, it was on Facebook actually, and a lot of people Not hopped Facebook. on it right away. No, okay. And they it seemed like the general thought and the general um opinion was fuck pedophiles, they should be killed immediately. And what what got to me was a lot of these people in this group of people that I saw speaking on the subject are very, and I'm doing quotes now because I don't know if it's true or not, but very like pro equality for lesbians and gays and trans and everything. And if at one point you told one of these people that are very anti pedophilia that, for example, being gay is a choice. They'd, they'd have your head. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you cannot convince somebody that being gay is a choice. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, what is being gay? It's being sexually attracted to the same sex. You know, that's probably the, the most Webster's definition you can get mm-hmm. of it. So if you're saying that if you're a man and you're attracted to men, you have no control over that. But if you're a person and you're sexually attracted to somebody younger, how is it fair to say that you have control over that? You know, like that's I just an urge. That's a natural say, urge right. that your body has. I did use the word urge because well, I think it's fair I mean, to say. There's a big difference. But that's what, I, what is the difference? Well, the difference is if two guys are having sex, it's consensual both ways. I'll tell you what. I'll <laughs> but tell I'm you talking what, about the I'll urge and the what, feelings, I'll though. Tell no, 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 I'm not talking about the act. But one is, yeah, one sex is bigger, bigger, consensual. I'll tell you what's the bigger difference in that. And that to me, even the bigger difference in that is that um, I think that there should be an innate. Um, desire to protect children. I do believe that. 
like mm-hmm. like I lions we, yeah, protect cubs that. like right. lions protect cubs like um mama bears protect baby bears like this is not something that hum that humans have used their brain power and their ability to speak to conclude i think this is something that nature shows that the big thing protects the little thing um and there are plenty examples of where that's not true mm. but i just think that overall there is this reality that the big thing is the pr- supposed to protect the thing that is less capable of course i think that's a natural human yeah. thing and it's probably like that so that's why most people will be up you know it's harder to watch something bad happen to a child than it is an adult for me i feel like when someone doesn't isn't in their adult mind able to see like the damage because i just like you can think about what the kid's going through, right? right? You can think about, like, what the kid's feeling. You can think about all these things. So I just feel like this if you This image can't, is creeping me out, right? You should take it off the screen. I feel like if you can't... Well, we're, we're, we're all... Obviously, we're all against any kind of shit like this. Which but we are. This is more uh, about yeah, the dollar Hold on. Self. Before, before, you, yeah, before you go into that, too, I want to make a very, very clear line. Obviously, it's not okay to have sex with kids if you're an adult. But the point that I'm making is, like, if we're talking about just a, a, um, a natural sexual urge and desire well i feel like can you have is it possible to to control that i think you have you're missing something right like where's the part of you that is that in nature says you are intended to protect this thing you get what i'm saying Hmm. like there's obviously an imbalance of something is something is wired incorrectly but that you could have the urge in exchange for what you should be having which is really protecting this child which is really what nature tells us, right? So, like, whatever your nature is, is your nature. But we know what the overall nature is, mm-hmm. and so we have to understand that your nature is going against the overall nature so that you would have an urge in such a way that it would... That's like people who commit suicide, right? Like, you're supposed to have an innate ability to protect your... Like, to, right. to survive, right? You're Always. not supposed to be able to take your own life. Right. Like, it's impossible to drown yourself. You're not supposed to be able to take your own life. So people who are missing these like fundamental things that most people have in uh, like so a natural much, thing and to the extent that they have these other things that we can't have right like i can't do that to a child i right. can't take my own life so do you feel like that those dolls should be a thing i've i, I just said what i said i feel mm-hmm. like i understand why it's being discussed because i think the belief would be that if you can't control the urge then a safe outlet yeah but I question, like, what is that matched with? Right. Because how is that therapeutic? I mean, are we? Are, if we give the dolls, then we're saying these people can't be helped. I well, want to say that if we give the dolls, we're saying they can't be helped, I, and there's no, there's like, hold on, we'll yeah. just yeah. pacify them. Basically. If you're saying that they can be helped, though, I don't know. I'm not. No, no I'm not. Anybody that's saying that they can be helped, to me, that's the equivalent of saying you can cure gayness. Hmm. Because you're basically trying to get somebody well, to some rewire. People, some people would argue. Some no, no, no. People, okay, is not a fair, Hold on. Some here, people let, let me, would argue. Some people would argue right. that. Um, Mike, Mike Pence. Mike Pence that would argue being that. Being gay goes against nature. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not going down that I'm road. I'm not though. either. But but since I just said that that some people do argue is that against that. nature, right? I just said that. Yeah. Then some people would argue that being gay is against nature. So I think well, it's I think fair it, to say. I think it's. I think it is against nature. In the in the intent of in the in the same way that well some in the sense of that animals are gay and some yeah. animals kill their offspring. I right? guess in the yeah in the sense of if you look at sex as just a tool for reproduction, if you look at it as hey we're capable of realizing you know that this feels good deeper. to do, then whatever it's natural. If it feels good for you, it feels good for you. God bless you. Yeah. You know, but there are some animals that have sex for pleasure too, and they probably do some gay shit also. Do so. they? Okay. Yeah, there, I, yeah, you could probably look that up. I heard. <laughs> no, 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 yo, just look up what animals have sex for pleasure. Bro. I feel like none, but <laughs> you feel like none? Come on, you're crazy. You think I, I would just make some shit up? But I There's think they I all have sex to reproduce. So we kind of went off topic. Yeah. Well, yeah, let me let me bring this back for a second. So, so go ahead, you about these dolls. How do you feel? So about if them? you're well, if you're telling me that somebody can be cured of pedophilia, to me, I hear the same thing as curing somebody or. Well, what Making we, somebody that's gay is not gay because you're saying that you can rewire their sexual urges. What if? Okay. What if it's not caring them? What, if, what if it's like you want you use whatever word you want? It's changing well, listen, their sexual urge. What I'm well, or suppressing the, it. Well, the article is is basically saying that if we can have these dolls that look like children, 
maybe ten percent of pedophiles will say, "Hey, right, you let me get that doll," and I'll, and then they won't. You know, because they won't here's rape the, the thing: kid, some people. This which is. I think it's crazy. I, I, I listen. There's plenty of female sex dolls, and they're okay, actually pretty hot out there. But that the doesn't thing. stop rapists. Rapists, you know what I mean? Right. People are still raping mm. women. You know what I mean? They're not right. using these sex dolls for their urges. They're still going out and raping women. So I don't think having these child dolls are going to stop anything. I mean, I think it's r- ridiculous. I think that's the best point So what do, you, what do you think you do with them? With what? The dolls? No, I don't care what you do with the dolls. I don't want to know what you do with Pedophiles? the fucking dolls. Yeah. Not, you, you put them in jail, they got to serve their time. What else are you going to do? I mean... That's it, man. I mean, I'm There's all, really no, like, clear... I, I mean, there's no answer that's... you got to make sure they register to a, that is to a sex general. offender Unfortunately, list. unfortunately... But, the child, right, is always, regardless of the person, where the, the reason or where the person is coming from, they could have been treated in such a way that they can't help their urge, mm. right? Let's say somebody hates that they have these urges, and therefore the I bet most is do. like is like a, a relief for them. Yeah, but that's, that's life. What if your urge is to kill people? <laughs> you don't just say, oh, What that's happens their urge. is usually you turn into a murderer. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. But you can't just say, oh, well, that's their urge. No, it's very like, progressive of me to try what? to empathize with this. I, you know what? I don't know. Hey, I feel why am I so his fault? Right He's going to urge to murder people. What if someone, you know? let's just like, throw it out there, someone was molested as a kid, and so they grew up and they were a pedophile b- based off their trauma, and they hate it. Do we just say you're fucked? No, no, not, not, not fuck, well, no. not fuck. But if, if you can't live in society without touching kids, something has to be done. I mean, even it may not be your yeah. fault. It You're may not be, fucked. You know what Somebody's I mean? Somebody's fucked. But it, it, right, but if, if they were it's touched true, as a kid and they're messed up, it's unfortunate. But it's but it doesn't give you a free un- pass it doesn't to give rape. You exactly, everybody. give you a free pass. You have to either be put in jail, I would or you got to be no put, one gets a free pass. Or <laughs> yeah, you got to be put in some sort of. Uh, situ- situation or environment where you can be, you know, monitored. How kind of trauma could be on? Un- un- well, un- you un- work on it. You work know. on it, but you can't just yeah, you, you can't just say, "Hey, that's how he is," you know, and and, and you know, turn turn a blind eye to it. You got to figure out a way to keep an eye on him and make sure he that. doesn't do it again. I'm not comfortable with the saying because that's why I'm saying like, I feel like it's just pacifying them and saying like and perpetuating the problem. But I mean, the doll, the dolls, it just it's just crazy. Well, you, I mean, so you just agree with a different form of therapy ultimately. Because that could be considered a form of therapy, you know, where instead of, you know, fucking the little sex doll, somebody says, you know what, I'm going to speak to a therapist today. Well, because I have these urges, let me talk to somebody and get rid of them. If you, you know? want, if you recognize that they're not healthy for you or they've gotten to a place where you can't control them, I would hope that you would want to get help. Like so things happen. It's so tough you know? to put my, your head in that oh situation because it's like well, it, it doesn't compute. You know, like well, it's the, like, the like the you argument, said, your natural instinct is just tie, children are precious. They're weak. Protect them. So to think of something that like heinous to a kid is like, I almost feel like like shit just for attempting to empathize with a person. Okay, that can so do that. let's let's talk about what I brought up earlier, which also ties into the what if the, what about the urges, right? So. Years ago, I was on my internet searching stuff, clicking videos, and I land on this video that says Joe Biden is a pedophile and touches little girls. And I'm like, no way. And I watched this 12 minute long video of Joe Biden touching several Good little girls. Good old creepy Joe. Okay, yeah. Several what little is that girls. Animal? Sorry, sorry. We're definitely getting into Joe oh, Biden no, being a creep. Absolutely. But I had to know if I was full of shit earlier. Yeah. A sa- no, I just want to know. Not just for reproduction. What animal is that? Yeah, there's a few. Fruit flies? Uh, Fruit flies don't count. Ooh, look at those ar- monkeys. Aardvarks fucking each other, bro. Having what sex for that? fun? Dogs <laughs> have sex for fun? I know fucking hey, owners that jerk. Right. I don't listen, know them, but I know of owners that jerk I, off their dog to release them. Listen. Like, just my to get dog, them de-stressed. My dog, who's a male, routinely humps my male cat. Different species. <laughs> It's different species, same sex. Cat, cat dog. He's into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, oh my god, cat bro! Cat. He's like your dog's over there, like pussy's pussy. Cat. Okay, <laughs> all right, so. so all I will say is okay. So Joe Biden's a creep. How this wraps up is that first of all, the, the video is is disgusting, and how he makes little girls uncomfortable is unacceptable. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it's but what came out was like I was like showing someone the video, and they're like, well. Like, why wouldn't anyone say anything? And he doesn't know he's doing anything wrong. And I'm like, fuck out of here. If a little girl doing this to you doesn't let you know that what you're doing is wrong, right? Like, mm. that's 
I'm sorry, yeah. but what was clear to me was that, like, even in a room full of people watching with cameras on, this man could not help but touch these little Well, girls. it's almost like he, he he knows what he can get away with. Like, he I smells their... Like, it's creepy. He smells their hair. Like he, he touches them on the back and on the chin and on the like face. Like, the urges like were so strong where it's like, bro... not do it. He can't not do it. I know. It, it's, it's, it's super... So you think he's a straight-up pedophile? He's... he's a thousand percent. Why well, I don't else? Know if he's a pedophile, but he's creepy. And, I'm sorry. It's he like he wishes he could to. be a pedophile. He knows he can't, but he I wants to. I think that you're you know? comfortable wow. making That's girls creepy makes you a pedophile. I'm sorry. I think that, like, and I mean, I hope this clip shows, and if it doesn't, I will clarify. Cause if the not, clip, there'll be a bunch more. The clip that I saw was 12 minutes long, so I don't know what any of this is. It was just literally. Yeah, yeah. what is this? Is he just talking and saying creepy shit? It was just shit? clips of him touching repeatedly i'm sure he's put a lot of money into making sure it's not high on the yeah low. watch that what, what, yeah what that was very uncomfortable he that was very hair. uncomfortable like why look. this is this this man's wife oh that's his wife Wait, okay look at her reaction Joe what's her reaction that's Joe his Bird? wife though that's his wife not joe biden's wife that's this other man's wife did he, he, he didn't say touching. something he just all right so two hands on the shoulder already weird what is he doing? Oh, oh, and it gets weirder. It gets weirder. I think he and whispers look, something to her ear, though. And it gets weirder. It continues. It continues. Well, he put his nose pretty deep in her hair to, to tell her something. You know, he could have just stayed away. and stuff. Just let it play. Oh, yeah. He... Yeah, there's that, definitely there's, there's well that looks innocent. No, there's, no, there's, no, there's a there's a no, video I'll that's wait. much more. I was gonna more, say no. Uh, graphic than this one. Like I literally see him combing little girl's hair. I'm sorry. I see him. Yeah, no. Exit this video. Go it to is the possible the Democrats have wiped it off the internet. <laughs> he looks no, like I he's in danger in that video, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see if you can find that amp up. Um, I, I definitely know that's the that's the theme. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say that, and that's kind of the the yeah. running gag yeah, right now. Well, well this, this one's only 12 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but I mean, look at the girl's face. Look at the girl's face and tell me that he doesn't know that he's making her uncomfortable. Look at, like, he oh, literally... But I, I try not to invest too much stock in just a thumbnail. Like, you No, can, but, yeah, watch. You he, can pause some but of that's these. that's fine. Just let this play. Yeah, just let this play because I know he made this girl very uncomfortable. And look at how he, like, Request like, yeah, you he always here. request the little yeah, girl here, to stand in front of him. Look, look at him go for the touch. See that? Oh, yup, always, always. There's several to be a several touchy. points where his hands are near the girl's breast area. Creepy Joe Biden. For those oh, wait, listening wait, wait. right now, we're watching a video that we found of Joe Biden just creepily touching, touching on women, all many kinds of women, and definitely little girls, young, look at old. Look at yeah, yeah, yeah. Grabs yeah. her What's arm. What's he telling her? Oh, yeah. What's he telling it's her? Whispering in this little girl's ear, and look at she look at her looks face. Freaked out. Why is? Oh yeah. Then why would you kiss. put your lips to a girl that you've never met before? You are a oh my God, grown man. Horrified. That I'm, girl I'm can room never experience that. You get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that. I mean, if there's 12 minutes of this, that's fine. I don't he, have to watch much. He could more be uh, the president in about what? I can eight promise months? you that all 12 minutes look like. Look at how he's pulling her. She's pulling back. And by the way, he he may have early stage dementia. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I just know for sure this man spends. The next 12 minutes of this video inappropriately touching, touching a bunch of smelling, young girls, kissing, touching, smelling, there kissing, are several licking, clips licking. of him touching the, around the little girl's breast area, several little girls. Um, so you. this is the perfect example of me to look. What is he oh, like? He grabbing him, huh? Look at the hand. Oh, look at the hand. Shit, See the hand? Dude. He keeps the hand nice and tight. And like, why is he pressed? His, his crotch is pressed up against her. Why? This kid's like, like, I'm, this kid's like I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sis. You're on your own. Why is he pressed up against her like that? Why did she need to stand there for that? And he needs yeah. to stand there for that. So unless he's like the world's beg best fucking like photographer and knows the height of where everybody should be, he's definitely a creep. There you come, Trey. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That's kind of weird to watch, to be honest with you. Um. And, yeah, and it's scary because never if mind. You just do a quick, a quick Google of Joe Biden smelling. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I believe it. Dude. Look at him still uh, that, grabbing his, on the that's girl. That's kind of like his go-to move. The hair still smell. Still grabbing smell. on the girl, and look at where his hands are always by their like chest area. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, de- definitely Look at where his hand like, is. Look at where his hand is. Definitely Look at where his more hand like is. intimate Would places. Would you ever, Josh, be. touch a girl like Take, that? A little girl that you no. don't know? Any, that you don't know? Any, so, any little girl that's like not like your daughter, like you don't put your hands on him at all. Period. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just like. It's like the unknown rule, you know? It bothers me so much that it's not well known that this man is like... I think it's more well known than you realize. Like, I've seen tons and tons of videos of him circulating like this. I feel like I don't know if it's been made clear. Like, this guy is... Like, we cannot allow him any more than the other guy. How is it even an option, you know? How is he? How is after seeing a so we're gonna these, put him in office and empower an him to molest a lot of little girls for the next four years? That's unacceptable. Look yeah. at him. What is that? Why is he kissing? Like, oh, it's disgusting. It disgusts me. Yeah, it's a rough one to watch. It disgusts me. So, needless to say, if he wins the nominee, you're not voting for him. Oh, I will just be. I just get so disappointed that like I know he's got a lot of people's vote, and I'm like. Look, there he is. Yo, kiss, people, there he is kissing Weinstein. Right, can we get enough? <laughs> enough with the fucking Biden doll. No, like he's got it's, people it's freaking me out. <laughs> because of Obama, and I think the people that are viewing him because of Obama don't necessarily have all the information. Well, fuck. Like, like really there's no way Obama didn't know this weird shit about him. They work hand in hand, and I feel like you can't love Obama and hate Biden. Well, hey, you hate Biden for what he is. I'm sure Obama was, you know, not, knew what was going on. The last political thing I'll say. I don't want to get too political. Obama's got two it, daughters, so listen, I feel like that's a stretch. I feel like I Joe Biden. It's hard to believe that Biden's hands weren't on Obama's daughter well, like that. They spent a lot of time together. You think together. Obama playing that game, honey? Listen, all you need I to know. I mean, how, sometimes how do you they not know, know who, that about that because guy? sometimes they how know, who know to be like that around, though. Don't Listen, forget that. Sometimes they know who. This they is all you need to know about Joe Biden. But you said it even earlier, he can't control his urges, not even when the camera's on. I feel like it's very unlikely that Obama didn't know he was a creep. Exactly, and he was the vice president for eight years under Obama. Okay. The fact that Obama is not backing him, he hasn't backed him. He hasn't supported him yet That's when right. he needs him. And right. when have he you needs ever him to be Bernie Sanders. He will not back him. Obama's daughters, actually. I've never seen a picture. So you think Obama kept his daughters away from him? I feel like Obama was like, I wish you would. I'm pretty so that, sure Michelle was like, it, I wish you would. Maybe. So but that, could that be bothers me. That could be something that he might not have known well, about right away. To on top fair. of that, I mean, I'm sure Joe Biden, he's obviously a creep. But he's not, he's not a moron. I mean, this, it took a long time even so for this to come out, right? I don't think he's going to touch Obama. If it's, he's like a million other girls he can try to touch, and that may be the ones that you don't want to touch is the president's and, daughter. And know that <laughs> he was saying. in office all eight years, and that didn't really come out the whole time he was in office, right? So, like, there is some kind of, like, maybe everything Obama was doing was distracting, right? Know. Nobody was watching what Well, there's Biden no doubt he's doing. a creep. I mean, he's Super a creep, creep bro. But, Super creep. What so who do you? I mean, you got to choose, like, you, or do you just not vote if you have to choose between him and Trump? Well, I don't even know. Do you support Trump? I Maybe she's don't. a Bernie girl. Oh, thousand yeah, but if, percent. If he honey, doesn't have but it, Bernie, well, which is what disappoints me, right? I just you might not have that, that option. Biden stands a chance over Bernie. That really breaks my well, heart. It's rigged. I'm like this guy. It's rigged. They screwed him. Yeah. This, Again, but not just that. But I mean, like, we're gonna put it between. A molester and a pedophile. Come on, people! What? Like, give me, give me some. But, but if I had to choose, I would choose Trump because at the Damn. end of the day, to this day, not one child has came out accusing Trump of molesting them or that kind of thing. And while he has molested and assaulted women, you believe that? I do believe that. Okay. I do believe that. I have that conversation with people all the time. When okay. I came out with my story about being attacked, there were people. On my attacker side, who questioned well, my story, who questioned my credibility, who said I did it for Insta fame, for all these things, right? So, Why did you gain a lot of fame by being assaulted? Oh yeah, I got. Why people I got say that? went from two hundred to three hundred followers. <laughs> basically, basically, <laughs> you're just doing it for the fame. I'm like, yeah, because my followers make sense. Up. Save money. Hell? Like, if you're gonna do it, say like, oh yeah, this millionaire. Like, yeah. guys, LeBron James assaulted me. I sued him for ten million. Not, Not like, hey, this like guy that, that owns a fucking seven eleven over here. He lives in North Providence. Hey, like, you're the girl that was assaulted. Let me get an autograph real quick. Yeah, he's got a twenty. He's got a twenty nine. I wanted everyone focus. to know me. Like, like it was some juicy uh, Smollett shit. I'm like, what the hell? Yo, that dude's fucking juicy stupid. <laughs> um, but you're right. Yeah, so so what you're saying is like, these women that came out against Trump, you don't think there's any chance they were lying? I think 
It's I'm not going to say. You're obviously biased, and I say that because you're a victim. Right. And so, a lot of people and people that my don't story, believe you, yeah. So I don't think it's my place to doubt somebody's story. Right? I look at. You like, think it's anybody's place out, to ever doubt someone's story, though? I came out. I mean, yeah, people lie. Just people lie, yeah. Right, but like I came out having my attacker arrested immediately after my attack having oh, yeah. him arrested that night trust me girl you don't have to prove your story to report, me but i'm just saying all the things yeah. i had right having a full police report that said that the attacker matched the identification i gave the cops that said that he had defense wounds that said that the cops saw him leaving my residence i had all of these things right mm -hmm. and still there were a lot of people that said that i was lying that said that i that, that i was read that i had reasons to lie that created doubt that doubted me, right? So but like now, were those and just, just know, oh, but no. just oh, know, oh. right, if he's an attacker. Fair. Let's say, right, if he's an attacker. Not the first. And I come and tell you this about him, how hard is it gonna be for you to believe that about him? That was my that's what my oh. question was gonna be. Were oh. they hold on, were they genuinely these people saying that like, you were lying for no reason, or was it because they, they were trying to defend him? Right. It can be hard to see it about people well, you love. This right. is somebody's son. Be this is hard. somebody's husband. This is very somebody's hard. cousin. Right. At this first is somebody's thought, best like, friend. There's no way my friend would do that. There's no way my son would. And do that. And you think you know people better than that, right? Like mm -hmm. that's the truth. But I mean, obviously, the stories come out the way they do because we don't always know people better than that. But. I think that it can be tough because I had a lot of proof and people still felt like they had the right to create doubt. So I feel bad for women who don't have, like, I had to chase the guy. I had to fight him off. I had to chase him. I had to mm. follow him damn near 10 minutes on the road. You know how far yeah. from up there down to profit, right? I had to follow him down near 10 minutes on the road just to have resolution. So if you don't survive the attack if you don't chase them if you don't find cops if you don't do all of those things if it doesn't work out for you it didn't happen you know what i mean like yeah that's why it's very tough for me to to draw that line yeah. because i had a lot of evidence and i know that people still had a reason to create doubt because they like that person to me it's it's never just going to be black and white because you always have, uh, unless, like you said, where you had all of this evidence, a lot of times these cases are just he said, she said cases. And I don't want to, you know, and I'm, even still, I'm not about... people said that my case was a he... People said that I set him up with his ex-girlfriend who he apparently used to be, who I've never met before in my how, life. How or why would you set him up, though? That's, well, apparently she set him up, right? Like, using me. That was, like, one, of, bait? one of the explanations, yeah. Like, you were just living your life and she's like, I know he's going to try to get her. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I, like... Asked him to sell me drugs or something. Like, I knew where to find him. I don't know. I'm like, show proof that I contacted you before you attacked mm. me. Show proof that I knew this girl in any way. It's where that you're actually in a position now where you're having to prove that. Well, you I'm didn't like, do prove anything of. I have proof, right? So, yeah. do you have any proof to back yeah. any part of your story? Any proof whatsoever? Bring it to the table. Like, I'm happy to go toe to toe on that situation. But what if you don't have as much as I have? Like, then then you're happen? in a he said, she said. What if case? I didn't chase him? Then it's definitely a thousand percent he said, she said, right? So That's, I'm not yeah. the one. I just don't. I'm not the one to. So do you always just assume that a woman is telling the truth in the event, of, like in the case of these sexual assaults? I think it's always a touchy subject. I think it's my space as a woman um, not to doubt the woman. I just feel that way. You almost have to start there. That's fair. You have to start with believing her. And then you know what I mean? I think that that's fair. Yeah. I mean, think about it from a woman's Put point it of view. It's unfair she comes to, the to you attacker. saying that she was assaulted or raped and then off the bat you're like, all right, well, let's find out what happened. You know what I mean? And you it's kind not of easy believe to her say. Right. Off the bat and then... If and then if there are holes, holes there are holes. Story, yeah. And it's not you know? easy to say like this happened to me. You know, people are like, "What?" Because you know women I mean? won't come, they won't come forward if they think you're going to doubt them. But now, know? what should the on the flip side of that? What should the the like the punishment be for? I firmly believe that if you falsely accuse somebody of something, oh, I think it should the, be big. I think the punishment I should be as equal as it would have been had he it, been convicted of what I, you're accusing. I agree yeah. with as that. As long as you can, I agree with that. For sure, prove it. You know, I don't mean? think that. Yeah, I don't think that it should be taken lightly that you could joke with somebody's life. Like I, that man got fired from his job. That man, like I said, that video got tens of thousands of views. So and he's known now as a dude that assaults 1, women. One thousand percent, right? I don't, and I don't think that that messing with someone's life should be taken lightly. I think mm. if you if you have if you take action that creates that level of consequence, I don't feel bad. Right. I don't feel bad. 
but that you would create that level of consequence for someone who is undeserving is not a fucking joke. Like, that man lost his job, that man lost his reputation, that he deserved that. But had yeah, he yeah, not, yeah. had he not, like, and then you're just going to, as a as a, an accuser who's lying, you're just going to go on with your life. I didn't want him to go on with his life as my attacker. Mm. So on the other end, if I'm attacking him, his character, by lying, I shouldn't get to go on with my life either. Like, whoever's the attacker should not get to go on with their life in peace. You should feel blessed. He's not in jail. I mean, Jesus Christ. Dude, he shouldn't feel blessed, bro. He's got a horseshoe up his ass. That's, That's what wild. I'm saying. He should be. He should. He should feel like I should be in jail. I'm lucky. I should just leave it alone at this point and not try to discredit her. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, fuck that, bro. He's got to be hiding under a rock right now. Like, I, imagine having to show your face with that. Like, everybody knowing that's the type of person you are. Yeah. That's why. And thank God that I have now spent a year and a half building up dozens and dozens of women so that my reputation speaks Hell for itself yeah. right so that it's clear that like i don't take lightly fucking with somebody's life you know what i mean i don't take that lightly and i think that i've made that very clear mm. with who i am over the years all about that woman's empowerment and i i do like my 25 kind acts as you know so like i think i've made it pretty clear what i stand for and i would never i build people up i would never break somebody down that didn't deserve it and if what? I speak the truth and that's what happens to you, then I don't fucking feel bad. Well, it feels like a great note to wrap this up on. That was a, a brilliant closing argument. I um, Before we go, though, I do want to hit the actual like links and places where people can find you and sign up for your class. So the name of the studio is In Your Skin Studio. In Your Skin Studio, because I want you to feel the best in your skin. So you can search In Your Skin Studio on Instagram and on Facebook and reach out. You can see the schedule there, the pricing. Um, contact me. If you message any of those outlets, I'll respond. Make sure anybody that's listening, if you go sign up, tell us uh, or tell her where you heard about her. That's on this podcast. So, And you get a 0% off for referring us, so that's good also. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. So. Check her out. It's in your at in your skin on Instagram. In your skin studio. At in your skin studio and on Facebook, just search in your skin. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Yeah. And um, you do beginners classes, advanced classes, basically any kind of pole dancing slash Sunday slash sex Sunday we sex do, so life we do Sunday pole dancing after church sexy dancing. <laughs> uh, there's some heels classes. There's like an open form dance class. So sometimes it's hip hop, sometimes contemporary. Yoga? Yoga. We do yoga, for sure. Yeah. So there's a lot, a lot of things to, to benefit from at yeah. your studio, so that's cool. We want to build you up. You deserve to be built up. It's a tough world. They always want to put the coronavirus on you. Oh. All right, well, hey. Money, uh, Stone, <laughs> <laughs> Big Stonewall Mike, thanks for coming. Sada, thank you so much. And uh, all right. Anything you want to say, Mike? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I'll Peace come back out. anytime. Peace out, listeners. Peace out. Thanks. Well, that wraps that up. That was fun. Time to talk some shit. With the J.